Hello there, welcome to Chemu. I just want to wish all our readers a very happy Halloween. Um, and uh, in this video, I'm just going to talk about how to create a creepy spider web in Excel. Now, you might be thinking, ah, oh, this has got to be one of the most useless things to learn. But I believe uh, the idea here is not to learn how to draw a spider web. Of course, you can use it, but um, to just understand how to kind of weave a chart that doesn't exist. So here is the spider web. I'm just going to demonstrate this by kind of redrawing this a few times. Uh, and um, and then you could see that the, uh, the dimensions and the number of spokes and the pattern of the, uh, the web changes every time you recalculate. So let's go and uh, take a look at how this web is weaved. As you could see, this is actually a chart. This is an XY chart. So if I change the formatting, then you could clearly see that. But it doesn't have any axis, any borders or any grid lines or any titles or anything else. So all you're seeing is just the XY lines. And, um, and then there are two kinds of XY series here. One is the web, which is those circular lines, and the other one is spokes. I'll just disable that so you could just see the spokes as well. Um, and uh, we'll en enable that back. Right, uh, so how is this drawn? Well, there is a calc worksheet. You are more than welcome to download this spreadsheet from the details section uh, in the video description. Alternatively, just watch it and, and uh, understand the technique and try to make a spider web uh, for fun uh, to kind of spice up your Halloween. Uh, so uh, there's a lot going on here. The actual spider web has uh, 200 points, uh, 201 points to be precise, uh, and then uh, spokes as well. But I'll just explain this on a demo data set. Let's say we want to make a seven spoke diagram, right? With just 16 points. So that means with seven spokes, you would have like two rounds and then maybe a little more. Because every seven points will be one, one, uh, one circle or one, um, I don't know, is seven probably heptagon or something like that. So seven of those. But because it's a spider web, it doesn't really form a, a perfect uh, um, polygon. It will simply go weave around, right? So that's, uh, so assuming there are seven spokes, each spoke, uh, assuming this is a, a mathematical spider, would have equal angle of two pi radians divided by seven. So that's the actual radians. In, in our case, if you observe this thing here, uh, the angles are not equal. Some of the angles are smaller, the others are bigger. Uh, probably if I recalculate, you can um, see that uh, more prominently. Yeah, like this angle is small, that angle is very big. Now, if you're wondering why are you not using F9 to recalc, I could use F9, but F9 is also the shortcut for my screen recording program to pause the video. So that's why I'm pressing that button. Going back here, um, so seven spokes, uh, each one is going to be equal. But in my case, what I did is uh, I actually generated a random odd number of spokes so to generate a random odd number, we just make a random number and then multiply that with two and add one. So we get a random odd number. Uh, that number would be between five and 11. And, uh, and then I made 11 proportions. These are just 11 random numbers between seven and 13, and then divided the radians uh, based on the proportion to the overall total proportion value. So a little bit of maths basically, but you get the, that. Anyway, going back here, um, that's that. And then uh, for each point, what we really want is I'll maybe do a screen drawing here. So let's say we are drawing seven spokes. The first one will begin here, like it'll go like that. Um, and then uh, the first point will be, let's say that's the first point. The next point would be seven, 
the assuming this is one seventh of the 300 de 360 degrees uh, it need not be at the equal distance it could be a random distance from the origin uh, so because it's a spider web it will not go in the same distance it will try to go uh, like that like that like that so it's always trying to move away from the center rather than like a polygon it will try to go there and then be with Teron so it's kind of a spiraling polygon that's what we're trying to get it so to get this diagram what I'm doing is I'll get rid of this drawing there um, <clears throat> so we, we make a random number and then the next random number is the previous random number plus another random number so so this will make that and then the x and y points would be a simple r sin theta and r cos theta concept uh, just uh, to do that and then so we take the previous random number uh, times sine of that uh, radians that is like one seventh of two pi radians times spoke number so it will be one two three four now if all of this looks a little too scientific and confusing it's it is uh, not meant to be so confusing but it is essentially simple maths there and then once you draw you will get this nice little uh, partial spider web so this is with 16 points with seven spokes uh, you need 14 points to draw the full circle twice and then uh, the additional two points will, will go like that so remember uh, this is actually doing from here so it goes like that and that's the extra two points there and if you do it for 200 times then you will end up with a nice looking nice looking spider web of course the web is only those points in order to get the spokes i had to uh, calculate the lines that go from origin all the way there because there could be seven lines 11 lines five lines i didn't want to create different series so what I did is I used a simple technique where uh, the first point starts at 0 0 then it goes to that point it comes back to 0 0 it goes to that point comes back to 0 0 and goes to that point comes back so we're drawing a star shape here which uh, uses only one series and then that way you can format everything very quickly and then do it as you could see the spider stopped weaving at this point if you are a little in uh, clever you could also have a little spider image pop up here so that's what i will show before we wrap up this video we'll go to insert uh, online pictures and then just look for a spider um, usually this is just all creative commons so we'll pick a spider that looks creepy enough uh, of course all of them are creepy but uh, let's uh, let's pick this guy and then we will take that image um, and then just shrink it small enough so oops I think I pressed I clicked on the link accidentally and now we don't need the attribution for now we will just uh, go to picture um, colors and uh, I'll just recolor it that way so it kind of matches what I want to do is I really want to have the spider up here at that point in there but if it is there and then if I redraw my thing I may get it somewhere else and the spider is standing in the air so I really want the spider to go to the very last point that is drawn so we can do that by going the very last point is nothing but your 201 point so i can copy these guys uh, and then paste here as paste special link um, and then once that is there this is x and y uh, for spider and then we'll right click on the chart select data add spider and then the x value is that and the y value is this so that would add supposedly a spider point you can't even see that because it's being added but uh, we can't see that so i'll go to change chart type go to combo uh, leave everything else as it is which is a straight line 
you can create something really weird and then this one is a a dot none of them should be on secondary axis and uh, so we will get a dot where the spider is supposed to be and then i can copy the spider select the dot paste it so now the dot becomes spider we'll make our spider pop a little bit uh, by maybe changing the color to yellow and paste it you could even go further by kind of doing a drop line straight line that goes down and then have the spider hanging there or you could even have a fly or something else added at a random spot in this cobweb uh, but that's how you can create a creepy spider web and there you go <laughs> a little bit of ha halloween but uh, chatting trick to get started and uh, i'll talk to you again in the next video feel free to download the halloween web chart from the description of this video thanks bye bye